Hey, what's going on guys? So recently I had an experience and I'm wearing a mask because I feel like it's probably better for my current employer that I don't show my identity. But recently uh, I had a job opportunity come up and I've been a heavy weed smoker for about five years, probably about eight to 10 times a day, maybe even more. And uh, I smoke that good. I don't smoke swag i usually smoke medical medical grade so i had a job opportunity come up it was a huge opportunity I had a family member uh that was going to get me the job so i didn't really you know i didn't want to for sure didn't want to pass a uh, fellow drug test uh with all that on the line um i did some research on youtube trying to figure out a way to pass a drug test um saw a lot of guys posting stuff about certo so um, I went to the grocery store, I bought some Serto. I did the Serto method for a couple of days, um, prior to the test and just had no success whatsoever. I mean, I was, it makes you feel like shit. Um, I went and probably bought eight home tests, some from CVS, um, one from Walmart. I bought probably eight from... Uh, Dollar Tree and no matter what I did with the Serto no matter how much water I drank I was still coming up with a positive test. So I'm a pessimist um, I didn't believe that the Serto would work and sure enough it didn't um, I think that even if you do Serto correctly taking B12 vitamins trying to put the color back into your pee um, the chance of you going in there and giving a diluted test are extremely high. So I don't recommend the Serto method. I don't feel like it's works. It's not effective, especially if you're a little heavier of a guy or if you're um, a pretty heavy smoker, it takes a long time to dilute things out of your system. And like I said, dilution is a failed test. If it comes back looking like water, they're not going to accept it. So went to my local head shop, Talked to the guy there, and he recommended this stuff. It's Quick Fix Plus. Trust me, guys, I am a pessimistic guy, and I did not think that this stuff would pass any kind of lab test whatsoever. LabCorp, Quest, whatever you have. Of course, I'm here in the state of Texas. Uh, a lot of us use Quest and LabCorp here. Um, so I did my research on this. There are some pretty good videos on YouTube about it. Uh, but you just never know what you can trust and it's a huge gamble and getting that job and being able to pass that test are super important. So guys, I was stressed out. I was looking for a way to pass this test. When I talked to the guy at the head shop, he said, look, I'd give this to my family. It works. It passes all the lab uh, tests that they can do. So uh, like I said, I did some research on YouTube Found some good videos, but I didn't feel like um, any of them were that great. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys that I use this Quick Fix Plus for a LabCorp test, and it 100% works. I'm telling you, it works. And the only thing about the Quick Fix that you need to know is that it needs to be temperature. So let me tell you a little bit about the process that I used to get this stuff up to temp. It comes with a bottle, it's three ounces. It has a little temperature strip on it. As you can see, I have a little bit left here because they only require about two ounces at LabCorp or Quest for a DT. It also comes with a heating pad here. As you see, I haven't even opened the heating pad. I never used it. Um, I don't, I didn't want to risk getting it too hot and then having to cool it down. So let me tell you what I did. I woke up about five hours early. And what I did was I put double boxers on and I also had a pair of sweatpants on. And I just tucked this bottle in between like my sack and my leg. And I covered up with like three blankets in the morning. And I just laid there and watched TV with it between my sack and my leg for a couple of hours, you know, and I just allowed this stuff to come up to temperature, keeping it, uh, you know, 
in there and covered up with a couple of blankets. By the time I was getting ready for my test, all the lights were on. It was about 96 degrees here. The color um, on the temperature strip was about 96. And it'll go like green. It has a couple of different colors there for the temperature. Uh, but if you're anywhere from, I like to be safe and say 94 to 98 is a, is a good temperature. And you want to make sure you're shaking this and then kind of putting it back down in there so that you can make sure that all the ingredients here are nice and warm. So I did that for a couple of hours, let it sit there. I got up and got dressed, wore a couple pairs of really tight boxers and I just kind of tucked it in between my sack and my leg there, put my jeans on, got up, blasted the heater on the way to LabCorp, which was about 10 minutes away from here. And, um, once I, and also guys, I've noticed some people having some issues with uh, the bottle leaking whenever you're sitting down waiting for your test or whatever. So what I did was I just got a piece of black electrical tape and I just taped this lid shut on one side, not all the way across because I didn't want to make a whole lot of noise whenever I went to take that off for the test. Um, but I just put a piece of tape on there just to ensure that the cap stayed shut uh, while I was sitting down and getting up, getting out of my truck and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then when I got in there, I just care kind of carefully peeled that away. Um, I checked the temperature before I went in the lab corp and it was still in the good. So I just tucked it back in there. Luckily with COVID, like they don't have a ton of people in lab corp or Quest. So I was literally taking my test in 10 minutes. But even if I would have sat there for 30 to 45 minutes with it where it was at, with a couple pair of boxers on and my blue jeans, it it would have remained body temperature. So just went in there, uh, they don't watch you. Now, if you do have like a probation or like a military drug test or something like that where they do observe you, this may not work for you um, unless, unless you get like a monkey whiz or some kind of something that you can kind of like put underneath your penis as you go to piss so it almost looks like the stream because i don't think that even in an observed test that they're gonna like look at the head of your dick excuse my language but but i wouldn't recommend using this for like any kind of observed test but if it's like a standard uh, drug test for an employer where they shut the door or maybe they wait outside the door they're not going to hear you take this cap off another thing i want to mention like uh, there was some sloshing around uh, as I was kind of walking. And so what I did was I just kind of opened the cap up a little bit with everything in here and I just squeezed the air out till it almost came out the top. And then I just put the cap back on and that eliminated all of like the squishing noise as I was walking around. Cause I mean, you never know. I mean, you might get some asshole that, that tells you he wants you to like bounce up and down or something so he can try to hear some kind of liquid. But if you do that, if you just get rid of the air out of it, it's got no way to move around in this container and it won't make any kind of noise whatsoever. Went in there, popped the cap, filled the cup up to the line, put this right back where I had it. Um, another big part of it, like temperature is huge, but also like, you know, be calm, like be relaxed. I know this stuff works 100% guys and I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not paid by Quick Fix whatsoever. I don't make any money off of YouTube. I'm doing this because guys, I worried myself sick about taking this test like i would have literally tried anything this cost me 30 bucks at the head shop and i was nervous as hell going in there but like i think as long as you have it up to temperature and you just kind of act calm you know just understand like this stuff is gonna it's gonna take care of you it's 100 percent gonna work if you have it up to temperature it's gonna work i promise you it will work and like I said, in the COVID era, man, they're not going to go sniffing it to make sure it smells like pee. They, they're not going to do that. I mean, the lady was wearing a mask. I was wearing a mask. Everybody's wearing a mask and they like just, they want to get the test over with just as much as you do. Just act calm, you know, just act yourself. Maybe crack a joke with the lady at the front desk. But I assure you guys, if you want to go pass a test for a, for a job, for a job that you really want, or maybe you're unemployed because of COVID and you want to try to pass a drug test, I promise you guys. And I am like one of the most pessimistic guys. Like I text a few of my buddies and was like, synthetic piss works. Like I did a lot of Google research trying to figure out if labs could test for it. 
But this company is really good about constantly um, enhancing their ingredients to make sure that labs can't test for anything different. Quick Fix claims that um, Quest Diagnostics and LabCorp and companies like those use this to calibrate their machines. And from all the evidence I've seen online, um, I'd have to tend to agree. I mean, I, I, I find it highly unlikely that they would use human urine, like actual somebody went and took a piss and they're gonna calibrate their machines with it. This is created in a lab. You don't get all the bacteria that you would get. Um, and it's 100%, guys, I'm telling you, it works 100%. I, I did not believe it and I was super worried about it, but two days later, man, I got the test results back and uh, I passed, I got the job, I start this Wednesday. So if you guys have any concerns, man, trust me, just reach out to me. Um, I'm here to tell you that I stand behind this product 100%. Now, I'm probably not gonna smoke again uh, because I just have too much to lose. And to be quite honest with you, um, it's nerve wracking, guys. I mean, it is, it is out of this world nerve wracking. Um, and I, I was just kind of beside myself, but um, I just took a deep breath before I went in, trust the process, trust the research that I've done. And um, so if you wanna pass a drug test and you're concerned about it, let me ease your mind a little bit. Go to the head shop, get you some of this. It costs me 30 bucks. It may be a different price somewhere else. Don't buy it on, um, don't buy it on any other website. Just go to your head shop, get this, make sure that the package is got a good expiration date on it. And if you go to the Quick Fix um, website, you can check the actual serial number of this and make sure it's a legitimate product. But this Quick Fix Plus, the six point, um, it's the plus, I think it's like 6.3 or whatever it is but it's a three ounce bottle instead of a two ounce bottle. Make sure you get the three ounce bottle. And I promise you guys it works 100%. Sorry for the long video, but I know you guys are out there on YouTube looking for this. I was, I was searching really hard and I'm here to, to calm your mind, to give you some peace and to tell you that this stuff works 100%. Thank you.